Hello YouTube, this is Daxon here, Weaver Family Farm. So I am going to make my first attempt at what they call air layering, I believe, here on this little Japanese maple tree. Now this may not be the best, or maybe the best, I'm not sure. To where another, this is this tree you wanna choose it on, cause it's, I really like this tree and like to have another one. And uh, right here we are at the beginning of September in Missouri. A lot of growth, you know, starting to slow down and everything. Uh, but I'm going to try to find a branch. Now, I might get one right here. I'm not really sure how big of a one to try it on. I might have to walk around and see. Don't want to try nothing too, too big. But I would like one, you know, fairly straight if we can. Um, maybe this one right here. Still not sure if that's too big, but that'll give me a good four or so foot tree. But uh, anyway, what you do is, uh, from what I understand, like I said, this is my first time, so if you're looking to do this too, you can kind of experiment with me here. But I got some nice potting soil that's moist. I got some of this wrap. We already use this for packages. Uh, we do a lot of laser engraving and stuff like that, and I already have this um, packing wrap stuff that gets really tight and stick to it. it sticks to itself. Got my little knife here, just a pocket knife, anything, and then some uh, rooting hormone. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find where I want those uh, the tree to try to get those roots to come out. I'm gonna take my knife and I'm gonna skin some of the bark off the tree, you know, uh, you know, a couple inches or so, and uh, expose that inner layer. Uh, and I can't think I'm drawing a blank what they call that, but basically take off the outer bark. Then I'm gonna really coat it in some of this, and then carefully, which I see some people use like water bottles with holes in them and stuff we basically want to have a nice tight seal of the soil around that area um, to try to get the tree to root and i'm using this you want to use something clear so you can you know see the roots and i'm going to try to hold that soil on there and take this and wrap around the tree and i'm going to kind of show you each step as i do it so first thing i'm going to do and i'm going to have to pause this while i do it it's going to take two hands but i think i had found my my uh, branch i was going to use over here somewhere I actually really like this one. We're going to go off this one. I'm going to go right here. I'm going to skin some of this off right here and uh, go for it. So I'll come well, back. I have this. skinned some of that off. I got a little bit more than I wanted to in a lot of the uh, areas. Um, but that's all right. Hopefully it'll still work here. Got that exposed. I'm going to take some of the rooting hormone and really coat it on there. Pick it up real quick and... Some people wear gloves when they use this. I'm not going to because it touched a lot worse. Um, just for the sake of this video. So I'm gonna get some of that powder and really rub it on there. What really draws me into this idea is not only do you get a bigger tree versus, you know, if you're trying to root some cuttings, you know, you, you can only use six to eight inch pieces or so but this i'm gonna get like a nice you know four or so foot tree it's already pretty good size so i'm pretty excited about that Put that on there nice and good i'll bring that back over here put our lid on it and uh but also you want you shouldn't have to really water this or anything you know because the tree is already getting water from its roots and sending it up and then it, we're going to try to encourage it to grow new roots there through the soil now Try this very carefully, make sure the soil is really packed around that area, and then wrap the heck out of it with this material right here and see where we get. I'll come back. Uh, hopefully, I'm uh, uh, have uh, good luck with it. It's successful trying to get that on there. All right, so a little easier said than done, and I didn't get near as much dirt as I wanted to, but I do have some of that nice, moist potting soil in here, and then I wrapped it really good. There's, I don't know, a few fingers. I don't really know how to tell you the size of how much soil I got in there. I'm sure I really needed a little bit more, but for first time's sake, not bad. And use that and wrap the heck out of it to really help keep, you know, moisture in there. And as the tree pulls up moisture, now it's probably best, honestly, to do this in the spring, I would guess, when the roots of the tree are actively growing and new growth's going on this tree. However, like I said, you know, this is really early fall, late summer. We're gonna try it anyway. So watch out for a video number two. Hopefully we end up getting roots here. Uh, might take a month, two months, and then we should be able to cut it right below 
you know, right here have roots. And then this piece right here will be our new tree. A really nice uh, selection, hopefully, but I'll make a video number two. Like I said, it'll be a while. I wanna go ahead and get this video up. And then if there's success, you know, I can upload the video number two later. If I'm not successful, you know, I'll come out here with my phone and video so you can see if it was successful or not. So again, it's my first attempt. So thumbs up if this is helpful at all. Hopefully check out the video number two. Subscribe if you like checking out uh, lots of cool stuff like this. I always like videoing the first time doing everything so you can see real experiences of what works and what doesn't. Uh, so thanks for watching. See you later. Bye-bye.